There are many good high paying jobs in Oklahoma, but therein lies the problem. There aren't enough qualified people to do the work. One business sector that is in dire need of skilled workers is information technology, and specifically coding. Coding is a buzzword for the computer language skills needed to become a computer developer. Tulsa just landed a new business which aims to educate a qualified computing workforce which is desperately needed. 36 degrees north in Tulsa is a base camp for entrepreneurs. People operating a startup business or working on launching one can office here, access technology, have business meetings, and get support for their endeavors. One of its conference rooms has just been turned into an education boot camp. We could send in an empty array as well. For now, this is home to Coding Dojo. Techies across the nation know about it, with offices in Seattle, Los Angeles, Silicon Valley, Washington DC, Dallas, Chicago, and now Tulsa. Coding Dojo is in the business of teaching people to become self-sufficient computer software developers. The governor and her cabinet members recently cut the ribbon for Coding Dojo's launch in the Tulsa market. One of the biggest gaps right now in this workforce is coding. And so what you'll see is whether you're a car mechanic, you're an avionics, um, whether you're a bank, this isn't just tech companies anymore, but coding is going to be the biggest revolution that you've seen coming since the automobile industry. Patrick Fitzgerald is a special advisor to Fallon who sees the lack of qualified computer coders as an opportunity for Oklahoma. I believe, truly believe that Oklahoma has the potential to be the Silicon Prairie. Jay Patel is the head of operations for Coding Dojo. He says students are carefully screened for the intense boot camp, which requires a commitment of 60 to 70 hours a week for lectures and study. It works because it's immersive. Right, there's 14 weeks, they come here, they're ready to go, and they know that they're putting their life on hold for these 14 weeks to make a career change, jumpstart their career in tech. Tulsa and Leslie Norton graduated from the Art Institute of Dallas and has done freelance web design work. But Norton says she felt stymied in her career because she didn't know the most prevalent of the coding languages. Python is a coding language and it's one that I've tried to learn previously on my own and it's really difficult. So when I got online and found out about this and that they were teaching Python, I immediately wanted to do it. And Victor Agbasi has a college degree in IT administration, but quit his job at a healthcare company to advance his skills with Coding Dojo. A pretty technical person before I even came here. Um, like I said, I worked in IT prior to coming here, and I've always been into computers and tech and just fiddling with things. And, uh, always been pretty good at math. A college degree is not required to be accepted into the boot camp. What the students all have in common is some aptitude and a commitment to learn. For me, algorithms and processes I always found a fascination with or how things like ticked and work. Amir Kamalorahim finished only well, one year of college and has been working in the wireless department of a Walmart. But after successful completion of this boot camp, he will likely land a high paying job. But after 14 weeks, you can learn three different languages and be employed. Now, that's an employed at a rate in Oklahoma of an average of over $72,000. That's the average going rate in this state for someone with a coding degree. The George Kaiser Family Foundation was the organization that introduced Coding Dojo to Tulsa. And then when we kind of took a closer look, we saw that, and, and we know that from a, a nationwide perspective, there's a shortage of talent. But we didn't realize how much of a shortage there was in Tulsa. And more importantly, how much the community was willing to help and, and how much the companies here needed local talent. He so says in the Tulsa area alone, 4,400 coding jobs go unfilled every year. I think keeping the talent local is very important because what you can see is a lot of these larger companies that can't find the talent they're looking for, they're likely to outsource. Sean Gabras is head of business development for the company. He says besides providing boot camps for individuals, Coding Dojo is reaching out to companies to educate their workforces. So we're hoping we can bring that to a company like Bank of Oklahoma that has had a, a pretty high level of turnover in the tech department. They have a tough time recruiting developers that match the technologies that they teach. 
Gabra says the cost of the boot camp is $10,500, but that it's not a deterrent to the students striving for the dividend of a high paying job and upward mobility. The next boot camp will begin in January.